It is 11. It is time for Wonder Friends. Yeah. This is becoming a uh, quite the highlight of the day. Uh, something to look forward to. So I hope you guys are as well. Today, um, let me pull up the comments here so we can make sure that we get this all so I can see everybody. Uh, again, parents, uh, my name is, let me get rid of that. Uh, now you can see me. My name is Jay Starf. I am the Chief Creative Dreamer at Wonder Real Studios. Um, kids, I get paid to do whatever I want to do. I get to make up stuff and stories, and that to me is the coolest thing. And uh, I like to share how I got there with all of you. So in case you have some big crazy dream that you'd like to chase and have no clue how to get there, you might be able to figure out something but some of the stuff that we talk about. Um, you can find me at Wonderville Studios on Facebook as well as Instagram at Wonderville Studios. I'd love for you to check it out and we can connect there and as always, you can go to my website and we have all kinds of PDF downloads that I'm getting ready. I know I keep saying that, but I'm getting ready to put them up there. Um, it's kind of hard when you're a one-man band and you have a bunch of stuff, other work going on to uh, keep up with all that stuff. So that's what that's all about. So uh, parents, as you come in, do me a favor. Make sure that you're putting your child's name into the comments so that way I can see them, uh, say hi to them, all that good stuff like that. Uh, I think it's really important that we kind of get to recognize them so they can, you know, be seen. Um, so we're gonna do that, uh, and remember when you're putting in comments in, let's make sure that we're keeping it cool and we're understanding that other kids are reading these things, so let's make sure that we're putting it in nice. So today, I got a special guest. Uh, I get asked about this person a lot of times when I do school visits and ask where they are. Uh, usually uh, he's at school. So luckily, because, uh, you know, who else is going to be the special guest when we're just stuck in a house together? There's only two other people that live here with me right now and a cat. So uh, I'm going to welcome Logan in as our special guest. I'm here now. What's up, Logan? Hi. How's it going? Good. Good. You might want to talk a little louder so everybody can make oh, sure that they hear okay. you. So, um, you know, Logan, just like you guys, is uh, at home. Also, school's out, right? Yeah. And so what seemed like what was going to be a fun, what's up, Emily? Good to see you. What seemed like it was going to be kind of a cool idea has kind of turned into uh, how, how cool has it been? Really boring. Really boring, right? Um, is it any fun to do like school without school? Oh, no. <laughs> so I thought what would be kind of cool is, uh, you know, all of you guys are going through the same thing as he is. Uh, and we all have different ways that we deal with it. What's up, Macy? Good to see you. Um, and so Logan, I thought would be kind of cool if we talked about uh, maybe some of the stuff that he's doing and maybe he might have some ideas for some of you guys uh, while you're sitting at home trying to figure out stuff to fill your time too. What's up, Miles? Good to see you. So Logan, what have you been spending your time doing? Pretty much just playing video games. Video games, moment. right? And are with you friends. with your friends? Yeah. How, how are you talking to your friends? FaceTime. FaceTime? So like FaceTime and then um, are you playing like online games as well? And you're, I've, I've seen you a couple times with headphones on and stuff like that. What's up Marley? Good to see you. Um, so have you, what have, has there been anything that you have found during this break kind of that you uh, didn't realize that you would like to do? That you've been trying anything new? Have you been trying anything new at all? Or are you just kind of adjusting right now? Not really. I'm kind of just adjusting. <laughs> the camera's right there. He keeps looking down. We gotta look up. Talk to the people. Uh, what's up, Tate Holmes? Joey and JJ, what's up? Hi, Mom. Good to see you. So, remember today, I asked for a favor. We need a parent to participate. Um, Logan and I used to do this thing called Father Sunday, and we thought since we're sitting here, uh, kind of trying to figure out what to do during, uh, you know, coronavirus break here that we would start kind of redoing Father Sunday in a different way. We used to do those on Sunday, so we thought, what the heck, let's do it now uh, on, what's up Chelsea, or Kelsey, what's happening? And we will uh, do those. So today we're gonna do the same thing we always do uh, during Father Sunday, we're gonna draw something together, but what we wanna do before we get started is we wanna talk about that mindful stuff that we've been talking about here when we come. So. Really what I wanna do is I wanna put our focus on ourselves for a second here and make sure that you guys just like sit up big and tall, take a big breath. 
And I just want you to think to yourself, you can either say it out loud or just in your brain. And what we're really doing is just kind of reminding ourselves a couple things about ourselves. The first thing we're gonna say is I am smart. I do matter. I am me and I am super fantastic. So those are the things that I want you guys just to think about when you're sitting down to do this stuff so that way we can really get in the right, right mindset, get present in what we're doing. And then also I wanna remind everybody what we've been talking about a lot is the cup word in, look at Logan, whew, cuts off his, almost cuts off your head. Is this cup, right? Our KUP, our star buddies that Sonny has around him. And remember we got Sonny here, this dude right here. Now that he's, Logan has been transformed to Sonny, that's pretty cool. So Sonny is, uh, the three things are his kindness, uniqueness, and his practice, right? And what we've been really focusing on these first episodes is this idea of kindness. And it's not necessarily kindness for everybody else. We all know it's important to be nice to other people. We're talking about the kindness towards ourselves. The things that we're saying to ourselves, let's make sure that we're putting good stuff in our brain and saying nice things. What's up, Mason? Good to see you today making sure that we're saying good things to ourselves. Uh, mindfulness is really important because we can't be nice to everybody else if we don't learn how to be nice to ourselves. So that's really what we're focused on a lot. Uh, today, also a reminder, uh, Sundays is when we figure out who wins. There's giveaways, right? And so this guy right here is gonna be my random picker. Uh, he is going to go through all the photos and everything like that, and he's gonna pick at random uh, three. We're gonna do three a week. Um, three winners and uh, you'll get a signed book or some art or something. It's kind of going to be like a little surprise that you're going to get mailed to you. We will uh, direct message you uh, some way, somehow figure out a way to get a hold of you, let you know so we can get your shipping address and we can mail it to you. Uh, all that good stuff like that. Um, so it'll be kind of fun there. And again, remember, rule simple. You got to like the page, you got to share the page, you got to post a picture of what you made, your wonder work, homework in the uh, comments. So, uh, without further ado, I think that we should draw something today. Okay. What do you, you, are you excited? Are you really excited? Are you guys excited? Okay, mom, dad, parent, grandparent, whoever you're with, we need you to sit down with your kid and you're going to do this with them. Now, I know, I can't draw anything other than stick figures. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> You can do it, I promise you. If your kid is brave enough to sit down and draw this stuff, you can as well. So sit down, get your paper, markers, crayons, pencils, whatever it is you wanna draw with, uh, and we're going to uh, switch cameras here, and we're gonna get ready to do a drawing. So, let's go over here, Logan. All right. Let's go to our other studio. Sure. <laughs> okay, so guys, we uh, Logan and I, before we started this whole thing, thought of, what would be something kind of cool? Do you want to pick a marker, Logan? Do you want to like a fat marker or a skinny marker? All right, cool. So we were uh, talking about like what would be kind of cool uh, idea to come up with uh, for a drawing and um, you gotta kind of keep it a little bit right there, buddy. That's about where we're at so everybody can see it. Um, and we came up with, we usually like to combine words, right? Yeah. Like we like to kind of maybe make up some weird like little character and stuff. Um, and that was one of the things that we used to do a lot when you were a kid. Uh, you're still a kid, but now you're a bigger kid. Uh, so we thought a cat smashed with a pizza would be kind of fun. It seems kind of painful. So as we're doing this, uh, there's a couple things I want you guys to think about. Moms, dads, um, and kids. These are simple things that you guys can set down together and make uh, up some things together. And as you're doing this together, I want you guys to think about like, you know, what it feels like to just sit down and do something together. You know, parents, I want you to think about what it was like when you were a kid. Try to like, when you sit down to draw with them, think about what kindergarten was like. Um, before you got, you know, talked to, talked into coloring inside the lines and you started buying into everybody telling you what you should and shouldn't do. Remember what that magic was like. And so just sit down and draw some stuff. Don't worry about whether it looks good, it looks bad, whatever, who cares? You're just sitting down with your kid and you're making some stuff. And uh, um, really focus on what that feels like. And kids, I want you guys to really focus on with your parents. Like, they're, you know, this could be hard for them. You might be able to show them some ideas that will help it, make it a little easier to draw. So um, let's get started. So for the cat pizza, we're going to start out a very simple. Just like we have always do, we're going to do a very simple drawing. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we are just going to do the letter V. 
You remember that letter, right? Wait, comes after X, right? Yeah, no. W, X, Y. V, yeah. Is that right? W, X, Y. V, yeah. <laughs> you totally got me. <laughs> T, U, V. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Logan. I got you. All right, you got me. So on top of this V, we all know what hot dogs look like, right? So we're going to draw a hot dog as, like, pretend that this V has a hot dog hat. And that hot dog hat is going to go around just like that. Okay? Oops. And so far, I think we pretty much can see this is a slice of pizza, right? You can kind of see, like, the beginnings of it. And so for some ears, what we're going to do is we're just going to put some capital A's, but we're not going to put that little bridge between it. We're just going to make some A's minus the bridge part, right? Now, for eyeballs, the same as what we always do, we're going to pretend that there's an imaginary line right from this point of this V shooting all the way up between those eyes. And we're just going to put two dots on each side of that so we know where we're going to start to build the eyeballs. And just turn those dots into bigger dots and put circles around them, keeping it simple, right? So now what we have is an eyeball pizza. Ew. Does that sound good? Not really. Eyeball pizza. Mmm, tasty. So what we're going to do is to, uh, we're going to add some whiskers to this guy. Uh, really, all it is is like lines, right? So it's just three lines right next to each other. One, two, three on each side. So you get a total of six. Three plus three equals six. Bet you didn't know you are going to do math today, did you? I guess it's because of the speech. Part. Well, now you have more. So there we go. Um, that's about the extent of math that I know also. <laughs> um, so now that we got our, our eyeballs, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to put like a little oval right between those. And that's going to be our cat's nose, right? Fill that in. And then just draw like a little line down. And that line down is like kind of like, you know, if you ever look at cats, they have that little dividing line down, right? And then just put a little half circle so we got like a little face on it. Perfect. And if you want, you can put like little teeth. If you want like little cat teeth pointing out, uh, totally up to you. You can do whatever you want on that one. Uh, one, or that's like the tongue. That's cool. I like that. Um, and eyebrows, the same deal. Eyebrows, like we've always talked about, can be just rectangles. Just super simple. They're just little rectangles filled in. Our eyeballs. And for arms, let's just draw some sticks out. And on each end of that stick, let's just put some filled in circles. And then let's put some lines outside of this. Boom, boom, boom. Right? Now for legs, same deal. I just want some straight lines down for legs. And let's put some ovals on the ends of those legs. Got some cool shoes on. That's right. Now, we're talking like tails. Cat, cats can have like big fluffy tails or they can have just like regular like tails if there's a sphinx cat, which is a cat that has no hair. It's just like a... I don't know, like a, it looks like a worm, right? Yeah. So we can, uh, for a tail, I want you just to put any kind of tail that you want on yours. I'm just going to do one like that. You can make your tail any way that you would like to make your tail be as creative as you want to be with that. And then pizza is not complete without toppings unless you're just a cheese pizza person. Um, if you're a cheese pizza person, uh, you got to put some squiggly lines or something on here to make it look like. But what we're going to do is we're just going to keep it simple with joining some, just some circles on it. And these circles are like pepperoni. If you like, you know, like mushrooms and all those things, draw those on there. You can definitely draw mushrooms. Like mushroom shapes are kind of like this kind of thing. Uh, you can put like little squares on it. If you like all the veggies on your pizza, you can do all kinds of stuff. If you put little dots on these little circles, they kind of make it look a little bit like pepperoni. Um, and you can definitely get that if you color this in, if you want to color this in. Um, and this is kind of like what we're going to draw a, uh, the pizza cat like. He could be, you know, maybe he can be living in pizza land, you know, or whatever. Um, you know, so again, guys, like parents and, and kids, like the idea of this is what we're doing. We're just sitting down and making something simple together. We're not spending... You know, like worrying about all the stuff that's going down. The point of making art is that we can kind of escape for a little bit and forget about all of the things that are happening around us because some of it can be really scary and we don't know how to react to it. 
And so when we sit down and make this stuff, let's just focus on making fun things. Spend some time talking about the way that you guys felt when you were doing this together. And are there ways that you can translate this into other things around the house that you can kind of do. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I sign this thing so everybody knows who made it. That's how I write my name. That's how Logan writes his. Um, as he's wrapping up his thing here, I'm going to like switch, get ready to switch over to, oh, that's pretty sweet, like a little hat, right? Yep. You guys can decorate your pizza cat any way that you want to. You know, feel free, get creative, make some fun with it. Like the whole point of all this stuff is there is no wrong answer when it comes to doodling stuff. It's just making stuff, right? So I'm gonna switch back over to the other camera. You wanna come with me, Logan? Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. <laughs> all right, so we're back here. All right, so Logan, um, what I like to do each time after we do our drawings is I like to talk about a word. A wonder word is what we talk about. Um, Livy, what's happening? Good to see you. Again, parents, make sure before we sign off here, put some comments in here with your kids' names. Uh, very much would like to be able to recognize them so that way they can be seen. So what we like to do is talk about a, a word. And today I thought what a great word would be to talk about would be hope, right? Because like right now there's a lot of things that be kind of scary and all those stuff like that. But hope is, I think, a word that uh, is pretty cool. Is there, when I say hope to you, what do you think of? Do you have anything that pops in your brain? Not really. Not really? So maybe like hope is kind of like thinking of seeing better things, right? Yeah. Right? So I think sometimes what can happen is all this scary stuff happens, we don't really know how to process it. We can feel like everything is going to end. Like there's no end in sight and because there's so much stuff that's going on that's scary, um, it can kind of freak us out. So would you agree with that? Yeah. So some of the best ways to do is I kind of have hope that you know, sometimes that things are going to get better. What's up, Avery? Good to see you. So things can get better through hope, right? And so hope is kind of like thinking uh, when the worst happens that there's a good chance that things are going to change. That's kind of what hope means. So that's kind of the wonder word today. Uh, but we do have an idea for you for the wonder work for the giveaway, the post in the comments, all that stuff like that. It's simple. I want a parent and a kid. The two of you, just like he and I are a parent and kid, to pick something, one drawing to do together. And what that will be is just combine two things, maybe around your house or two things made up. Natalie, Henry, Ryan, and Lexi, what's happening, guys? Um, and, and combine those together. Sit down and make a piece of art together and then post in your comments. Maybe one of you can draw uh, the main character, the other person can color it. Maybe one of you can name it and the other one can color it. But come up with two things and smash them together like we did the pizza cat, right? Yeah. And it was fun. Uh, so spend some time doing that. Um, remind everybody, as always, where is this at? We got some books, all that good stuff like that. They could all be available on Amazon. It's all about kind of chasing dreams and all that good stuff like that, embracing your uniqueness and uh, all that good stuff. We're just trying to put some good stuff out there in the world to inspire kids. We always have a bunch of videos at Wonderville Studios on YouTube. You can go to my website, like I said, and we have um, a buttload of uh, videos posted on there um, that you can totally check out, share. I'm getting ready to put PDFs in there. I'm sorry it's taking me so long, but I am working on it. Uh, they will be put up there. Um, but yeah, so that's it, guys. So uh, tomorrow's supplies, we're just going to stick with some paper and some markers, crayons, and whatever. Um, I have a really cool idea for tomorrow to uh, create something just out of thin air. How do we come up with something out of nothing? That's kind of the idea for tomorrow. So remember, guys, the key to happiness is embracing your unicorniness. Even though we can't get out there, you do have the ability to sprinkle your magic in the world just by being you and you don't have to change a whole lot about you. So just be the unicorn and we will see you later. We did it. All right.